If you're a PlayStation fan, you've probably heard about Days Gone. And if you've played the open world survival game, you're probably wondering why there hasn't been a Days Gone 2 yet. Well, you're not alone. A Change.org petition for a sequel launched in 2021 and now has close to 180,000 signatures. Sadly, Sony still hasn't greenlit Days Gone 2. Days Gone is an action-packed zombie adventure game that was published by Sony Interactive Entertainment and developed by Bend Studio. It was the gaming company's first open-world game, as well as the first game they had released for home consoles since 2007, when they gave the world Siphon Filter Logan's Shadow. The game was inspired by a number of popular shows and movies of the time, like Sons of Anarchy, The Walking Dead, and World War Z. It follows the protagonist, Deacon St. John, previously an outlaw, now a drifter and mercenary, as he travels through the post-apocalyptic Oregon looking for his wife, Sarah, who he had assumed was dead. Upon initial release back in 2019, Days Gone actually did really well. But with so many in the gaming community, critics and players alike, complaining about various things in the game, from the poor story to the extensive bugs, which is usually expected in the first time release of a game, to the repetitiveness of game missions, the love and support for the action-adventure zombie title very quickly decreased. There was still some praise for the brilliant graphics and amazing voice acting done by Sam Witwer, who did the voice and motion capture for Deacon, and the others, but that did nothing to quell the many negative reviews. However, despite the negative response, Days Gone still managed to become one of Ben Studios' best-selling titles, with over 8 million copies of the game since having been sold. In 2019, it sold more than any of the studio's previous games and became the 19th best-selling game in the US the 8th best-selling game of the year, and at launch in Japan, it far exceeded the launch sales figures of both God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn. All of that combined with the many awards won by the game and the secret ending during the credits had fans assuming that there was going to be a Days Gone 2, despite the critical reception of it. In a recent interview, Days Gone director Jeff Ross shared his vision of what a sequel would have looked like and also gave some insights as to why he believes that the first game did wrong. It's sad to think that we might never get a sequel to this unique title, especially with Sony's current trend of releasing remake after remake of relatively recent titles. So, are you still hoping for PlayStation to develop a Days Gone 2? Go ahead, let us know in the comments.